Okay, so first of all, I'm going to connect my neutral line to number 8. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this one. So I'm going to put it in there. And I'm going to tighten it from the top. So there we have it, all right. Then I'm going to get my life wire, okay, life wire. And then I'm going to get a jumper, okay. So I'm going to twist them together. I'm going to twist them together, okay. So that I have something like this, all right. Then the double part I'm going to put in number seven, okay. So that's number seven. Where I'm putting the two wires. Number seven. Then the jumper will go to number five. Okay, number five. But I want to do another jumper. Okay, and then this is going to five. It's going to five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five, one, two. I'm going to put that in to five. So five, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. Five is right here. So I'm going to push that in to number five. And then the last one goes to number two. So we have one, two, number two. So I'm opening it up. Then I push in to number two okay so this is how we have it these two wires go into number seven there is a loop from number seven to number five and then there's another loop from number five to number two okay right. so these two wires are going to my power supply life and then neutral now let's see how we are going to connect the heater okay i'm using this as my heater so my heater is going to number four Okay, number four. So the life wire, the life wire from my heater will go to number four. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, four. So that's number four right here. Number four, okay, to number four. Then my neutral 
wire okay I am going to peel part of this okay I'm going to peel part of this So I've filled part of the lifeline and I'm going to add the heaters neutral to it, okay? So I'm going to make sure it's a bit long, then I add it up to this. So I have something like this. So there you have it. All right. Okay. I hope you got that. And then I'm going to take my moto. Now my moto is already wired, but I just want to show you how to do it simply. All right. You have this blue wire which is neutral. Okay. All the way. So from neutral, I'm going to give it straight away from the middle of the motor, straight away to neutral. Okay, I'm going to give it to neutral. Then, if you haven't wired it, from your limit switch, from one end of your limit switch, you connect to one end of the motor. Then, from the other end of the moto which is this one this brown wire okay you give it to this limit switch right here right here all right then now from this and then this we are going to have these two okay so all the wires you are getting from this is three three wires okay the one from the middle of the motor which is neutral blue wire then you have one from the limit switch right here okay and then the other from from this limit switch right here okay so these two brown ones are from the limit switches okay so i'm going to give the blue from the motor to the neutral point which is this okay to the neutral point and then i am going to connect the two brown wires from the motor I'm going to connect to number one and number three. I'm going to connect one of it to number one. So that's number one okay then I'm going to connect the second wire of the limit switch to number three so we have one two three came out so pushing it to number three 
okay and then tightening it okay so there we have it okay okay so um, don't forget your sensor the sensor is going to go to number 10 and number 11 okay so we have number 10 right here and then number 11 right here okay so So we have it this way, okay, 10 and 11. And the last thing to do is to get an insulation tape and then tape all this, all right? Tape all this together. Then you are ready to power, okay? So we have life and neutral, okay? Life and neutral. And then make sure all your wires are properly buried into the ports okay don't let your wires touch each other as they are in the holes yeah thanks for watching if you have more questions and then subscribe because uh, i'm going to do a part two where i'm going to talk about how to set the thermostat thank you